join the open beta at oculus.com slash echo combat. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is for all the marbles as we're about to head into the grand final to find out who is going to take away $6,000 for first place and $3,000 for second place, as well as who gets crowned the champion here for Echo Arena VR League Invitational. My name is Kyle Larison. To my left-hand side, I have Jason Kaplan and I have Blue once again. And gentlemen, it's time to get super serious because Eclipse is about to take to the arena to fight against Blast very much NA versus EU now, and it is the fight versus both of these teams mm. that we had at the Season 1 Finals as well here, or at least as we were mentioning before, two-thirds of that fight anyway. So it's going to be really awesome to see because that series went the distance. If I remember correctly, we did get the repeated series out of that one when we had it play out in Poland a couple of months ago, so I'm really excited to see how this one plays out. And we get to see if Eclipse is going to be pushed to do something new, to do something different. They've been playing their standard style the entire yep, tournament. Yep. It's felt like no one's been able to challenge out against them. And this is like the first chance we get to see, potentially with the number one seed from EU against the number one seed from NA, to get them to that level. We got a chance to see Eclipse in action at the very beginning of the day, but in the end, 11.5 did not stand a chance. How do you topple a team like Eclipse? Well, we would hope it would be Blast that would be able to do it, but as, as Jace was mentioning earlier, Eclipse just like haven't been tested at all so far at this event. Uh, they. They've 2 0 their way through the entire event. They haven't lost a single round so far, and the rounds that they have won have been incredibly convincing. So it's it's going to be very tough to find any argument where they lose this game, sadly. I think uh, you know we saw 11.5 adapt uh, to Eclipse to do more of a man to man style, to not allow Simeon to just get into the back line and yeah. be um, such that annoying force for them, um, and not allow him to get those back end goals. And then, of course, you, we know the, the mastery of Eclipse and how well that they waste time, yeah. how well they force you to make the move, because when you're making the move, you're potentially able to make a mistake. And then they punish you for that. Well, absolutely. Let's hear from Eclipse coming into the grand final. Drew me to VR in general is I've kind of been getting tired of traditional video games. You know, something comes out, I feel like I've played it before. So trying VR was an opportunity to do something really new. The movement just got me immediately. The zero G, the tactile feel, it's such a visceral game. And I just haven't looked back. In a fast-paced game like Echo Arena, staying ahead of opposition basically comes down to complete communication and trust within your teammates. I think more than any other game, um, Echo Arena is really reliant on that communication. You've just got to be shouting stuff 24-7. It can get really intense, but um, as long as your teammates have your back, you'll be okay. I don't think there'll be too much extra pressure. I mean, there's always going to be a little bit when you're doing an uh, offline event, you know, with the, the crowd factor and the fact that you're just not at the comfort of your home, which you're used to. I feel really confident um, about facing any of the North American teams. I feel like we do really well against all of them. I think that as far as the Europeans go, you know, we're just going to make sure we keep up our communication, try and break up any of their boosts so that they're not able to get across the court really quickly and just make sure that we play comfortable, play our game, and I think we'll be all right. I would, without hesitation, say that Palador is the strongest member of our team. He's the glue that holds everything together. He's the most consistent passer. Uh, he's our QB, and he's always seeing different parts of the field. I do believe we can take home the first place position at this uh, event. We've done well in, in Season 1. Then Season 2 so far, we've taken first place every week during the Sunday tournaments. So as long as we keep doing what we do and keep our heads, I think uh, we're in a good spot to take home the first place title this year. Calm, confident, and collected here is Eclipse coming into the grand final, and they go up against the number one seed coming out of Europe. It is Blast, and they have made the run through the lower bracket and three games down there against Gravity, against Aftershock, and against 11.5, and they have been able to topple every single one of them. Let's hear from Blast as we go into the grand final. I was, I've been playing games for years and years, 
And as I was started watching YouTube videos of all these VR games, then I started playing Echo Arena, their beta. After that, I just couldn't play any other games. That was the only one I started playing. It's, it's the teamwork on it. It's you, the socializing on the game, and it feels a lot more natural playing VR. Like, it feels like you're actually in the game opposed to just looking at a screen and using your mouse and keyboard. I wasn't much of a gamer, but I did play a lot of sports when I was younger. Pretty much the first true eSports game. And then it's got the elements of gaming and also the actual physicality of real sports. To stay ahead of the opposition, you have to constantly practice as much as possible. You have to play with all the top players of the game and just more practice, practice, practice. I'm not really worried about any particular team. I think in terms of individual skill, there's not really a team that stands out more than, like much more than ours does. Of the European teams, we are probably the least predictable since we have the most varied playstyle. Everybody else tends to play one way and we're trying to play a different way. I think we definitely have what it takes to take the first place. There's, I don't think there's any other teams that are far above us. I know the accent anywhere. Boops hailing from Manchester, looking to propel UK esports even further down the line. Because usually people from the UK are not very good at video games, and that's why we start talking about video. You're games. You're allowed to say that. I am allowed to say that. <laughs> Nobody else is allowed to say that at this desk. Because if you guys do, it causes an all-out word war. There you go. <laughs> uh, beyond that, though. <laughs> what? <laughs> all right. Um, so uh, I, I did want to talk about Blast a little bit here, if I can jump in. Um, I think they're one of the few teams out there that can actually give Eclipse a run for their money. Right, right. Just about the fact that Affentair is such a damn good anchor for the team. He's so cognizant of everything that's happening in, in the arena, and he's not going to allow Simeon to have a free time. He's yeah. not giving him a free pass. You're not getting any free shots off against them. Three pointers are going to be difficult to come by. And there we go. The countdown has begun. This is the grand final here. The number one seed from America goes up against the number one seed from Europe. It's Eclipse going up against Blast. Let's get it done. And we can already hear the crowd cheering for Blast. They want the upset. They want this rematch to go by the way of Europe this time as we're on European soil once again for the matchup. And we will just have to see if Blast will be able to do it this time with their new roster. Same for Eclipse though. They'll start off with opening possession as they win the Joust. And they're very quickly moving up. Bit of a loose grab though as we do see it threatened set into the open. Simeon will pick it up, but it's a back pass now over to Palador to give them a little bit more room Look to play that. with. Not giving him freedom though. Not giving him freedom to be that quarterback for the team to slowly move the disc up. They're pressuring him whenever they're able to. And that's what I love to see out of Blaster. They're actually able to take the disc away, look for a clear, and they're able to do just that. Getting it back on the side of Eclipse for the first time in this match. Look at that pass coming to Simeon though. It's just going to barely miss. Bounces away, but it should be fine. No one's thing shutting in. Simeon looking for maybe potentially a three-pointer. And that's actually going to be the interrupt, but he misses the shot! Whoa! Okay, luckily he gets the follow-up with the two, but still... That should have been a three-point lead for Eclipse. So that's going to be a little bit unfortunate for Eclipse, but still will be them pushing ahead on the opening few seconds here. Simeon, along with the fact that Lone Gecko, this is unfortunate for him because there's not a whole lot he's able to do to counter this, sadly. Tries to leap in there, but again, Simeon re-grabs it far too quickly. It was the rest of Simeon's team, Eclipse, that made that work because they stopped yeah. re-grabs from Lone Gecko and Avatar, I believe it was, to get back in time. Also, I just want to give a quick shout-out to the Observer crew we have here uh, today and, and yesterday doing a fantastic job. Melee and DJ, honestly, doing a great job over the course of this event. Love seeing their work. Just want to give them that as we do break off into the possession out of Blast now. Down 2-0. to zero. Boop, boop. Get the nice pass off over here. He's trying to get himself set up for a goal opportunity. Passes down to him, but it's a miss. Sent into the open, and Paldor will immediately capitalize upon that. Sending it back to the other side, and they're going to go for a re-grab. It's actually a little bit... We have someone hitching a ride over there as well to try to follow them up. Boop, though, will get punched out before he's given an opportunity to do much. And now, Lone Gecko is oh, making a run for Possible three-pointer off the backboard, but no, it's thrown loose. However, will still work out, and it's a three-pointer from Blast as Lone Gecko gets things rolling for the European All-Stars as they push ahead now. Assuming you guys can all hear that at home. And, and one thing we, we haven't even touched on yet, Blue, is the fact that Eclipse, every player on their team, loves to bout, loves to fight, loves to punch and get those stuns off. Where Blast is a team who typically doesn't bother with that. They, they don't really invest into those stuns as heavily unless they're forced to. And that freedom they usually have of the speed of getting around this arena is going to potentially be shut down by Eclipse, forcing Blast to adapt. But they've got the lead. But will they be able to get the disc back in hand again? Look at that! They're actually able to steal it away. They have a three-on-one break here. And look at that! Lemmy comes back in, but somehow Boob steals it off of his hands. And there's still the potential for the shot. Boob's going to be moving in. They'll take this a little bit more slowly. The lone gecko getting close up against Palador. Palador blocks. He's been stunned, but there's no re-grab just yet. Another player from Eclipse going to move in and try to stop this. It's sent into the air to try to pass it back 
over to Affinter, but he loses control of it as well as Lemming is going to steal it and send it back the other way. The guys on Blast will quickly chase it, however, inside of their own three-point bubble and maintain possession for now as they'll take it back to mid. Boop actually being just abouting himself here over up against Lemming on the Eclipse side of the arena. Being a pass back up to Palador. They do have all three men now on the side. Good little pass comes into Lemmy, but goes a little bit too wide, it seems. And now Lone Gecko might be able to steal this one away. He might be able to get it clear himself. He does just that. He gets it back onto Eclipse's side, and it's the race. Who can get back over here quick enough? And look at this Blast! They've been able to do it! They've completely cleared away from Eclipse, and that's going to be another two points for Blast! Paladar even scoring an own goal in there. He was going too fast, too quickly. Tried to quickly take it out of the hands of Blast and throw it in the air, but he couldn't do it. He was moving too quickly. So he ends up just flying into the goal with his disc, giving another point to Blast. Look at you yeah, guys, see Affinterra there. He's happy about that one. They know they can do this. They know they can pull this off. The two thirds up against the two thirds of either team. And they want to dethrone the Kings. Take that Monarch down as we play here in England. Hope I'm not arrested for saying that. <laughs> Clips now with possession. <laughs> Gonna pass that one over to Lemming. And Blast, they're, they're starting to get riled up here. This is where things get dangerous for Eclipse. They need to shut this down. They need to take this momentum away from them. Seeming going to be in position to receive the pass. Now we'll move oh. it and try to go for a good goal opportunity. Unfortunately, we saw Lone Gecko trying to get in position to defend, but was just way too far back there. So it's opened up for Eclipse. Only a two-pointer for them, though. So Blaster still in control with a one-point lead. Yeah, well done. They're denying these three-pointers the best they can. I mean, we're, I, I think at this high-level high play, Blue, the only three pointers we're ever going to see are on those breakaways, which we just had um, come out of Blast. So, really good job by both teams to really make sure to defend that goal when they can force out these twos. And Palador, we got to give credit, able to go up against Lone Gecko earlier on and get the deny in the one on one. We've seen not many goalies be able to do that over the course of this entire tournament against Lone Gecko. Let's see if they can continue this pace up. For Blast. Oh, hello. For Gecko. Oh, very close shot there as well. Just barely a miss going off to the side. Eclipse don't have an immediate regrab. Affentera steals it away. They've got another chance for a three pointer here right now as Lone Gecko is going to try to move back in, trying to get it closer. It's taken back away. And as well, it's looking like Simeon's able to get the clear back over towards mid. However, the guys from Blast are <laughs> throwing out a lot of stuns right now. So is Eclipse, and Blast will maintain possession. Lone Gecko is looking for a pass opportunity. Affentera is somewhat open. He just got stunned out. He's going to wait a moment. Sends it over to Boop instead to close this gap a little bit more. The transfer goes off the force field. That's going to keep it inside of the three-point zone and also give Eclipse a chance to clear it back to the midfield once again. Affentera uh -oh. a little bit slowly here, though, so Eclipse is going to be able to get away with this, but no, it banks off of one of the islands, and that's going to be a huge change-up that Eclipse weren't ready for. That could have been a shot for Lemmy, but the bounce working out perfectly for Blast, but now it's going to be Paladar pushing it back up, slowing the pace down. A minute and 30 left on the clock, looking for the slam, and there it is! Lemmy comes in big. I even saw him jump on the stage for that one, and they take the lead. The jump shot gives that little bit of a boost of movement that you might see here in the replay once again. We'll hopefully have the camera on his perspective as well, just to show how the skill works out here. Moves in, gets that nice little boost of movement to swing him right into the goal, allowing him to slam dunk for some more points for Eclipse. Here we go, stuns again. Look at that 60-40 Eclipse. Definitely getting more nitty and gritty into this match, but Blast have time to work with this blue. A minute and 30, it's definitely possible, it's definitely viable. We've seen teams score with way less on the board. And here we go, the push coming in. Let me go in straight for the disc, tries to go for the interruption. Look at the pass coming in towards the Lone Gecko, and Boop is actually by himself. He's gonna get a two Hello. here, and you can't have that happen. You cannot allow Boop to get in your back lines. We've already had more open goal opportunities scored upon by Blast than Eclipse. I don't even think they've had a single one just yet against the Blast roster. So Blast, from a movement perspective right now, they're winning this game easily so far. And with that goal, they're once again in the lead. There's not a whole lot of time left for a response. The champions in Eclipse. You got 14 stuns out of Lemming. Actually, look at Lone Gecko, Boop, and Affentera. Again, a decent spread across the team. They're already starting to step up here, realizing they're going to need to hit a lot of these punches to make sure to get these goals, these, I guess these plays converted into points. Again, being very aggressive here. Good little clear initially coming out of Paladar towards Lemming, who's just going to bait them out again. Boop and Lone Gecko squad need to make sure to stay together to not get separated so they can get back quick enough. But the pressure they're putting on is being felt by Eclipse. Nice juke, but it is going to send the disc into the open here, and Simeon's not in the great position. Affentera steals it right up from under him and sends it back the other way. Very close to the three points of both teams oh, are going to launch. Out. Boop getting ahead again, oh. but it's not an easy disc. He moves down and goes for a stun. Instead, Boop will pick up the disc moving in. He doesn't go up against Simeon inside of the goal. He's got Paladar sneaking up. Goes for the pass instead over to Affentera. Loops it around and sends it in, <laughs> securing the lead even more so now at 9 to 6 over Eclipse. Again, somehow Blaster able to clear the defense from Eclipse time and time again, able to get a player further ahead, keeping Eclipse out of position and not set up the right way they want. I swear Affetera is going to scream the roof off of the studio at this rate.
three point lead, 50 seconds left. As long as they can deny a three pointer here, they're looking at a first round victory in this first best of three. Comes the launch right now as we are going to see Eclipse try to make a run for it once again. Also starting with possession this time, but it's been two blast goals in a row now. Oh, that might have been an overshot, however, from the blast team. It's left their goalie alone. They quickly get a re-grab boost back over to the other side of the arena, though. And are ready to defend this boop. Takes it right out of their hands. He's just around it, however, so it's not going to be so easy, but he gets a nice clear. Problem is he doesn't have any teammates to work off of, so it is going to end up being Lone Gecko and Apple oh. Terry that try to move together. A bounce back because it's still inside of their bubble for some reason here. But Simeon holds it for now. This aggressive style to Blast to catch him off guard. Time is running out, 20 seconds left. Now they almost, if Blast just denies a three-pointer period, they're gonna be pick up this first round. Look at this aggression out of Lone Gecko, trying to constantly pummel him away. 10 seconds left, he's wasted 10 seconds of himself. And this is Eclipse coming in without the disc in hand. Blast, they're gonna be able to pull this one off and pick up this first round. Less than two seconds remaining here. Timer will run out. Blast are already celebrating as they take round number one of the opening best of three of this grand final. One more to go, and they've got the first series, but remember, they're coming in from the lower bracket, so they need to do it two times in a row. See Lone Gecko there, wiping himself off, I'm realizing what's at stake. They've been playing fantastic again. The breakaways have been working out for Blast. Eclipse have no response for this, no response for the kings of the arena when it comes to movement. Boop and Lone Gecko doing fantastic again. Alphantair, the goalie position he's been playing, most of the time, he's not even in the goal, funny enough. He's actually sticking to the team, or sorry, to the player that's actually set up ahead, Simeon. He's been trying to play forward a little bit more as a striker. Doesn't allow him to get comfortable, doesn't allow him to get set up to force that one-on-one. -on -one. He stops that from happening off the get-go. That's what's been so cool for me in this series as well for Blast, is I was expecting them to have to play incredibly passively and more capitalize on mistakes that were being made by Eclipse, but they're playing aggressively, taking it right into Eclipse's house, and most of the time it's working out for them. They're, they're not really being punished for such aggressive positioning because of how quickly they're able to re-grab back to the other side of the arena. They're almost never out of goal. Here we go, man, the screen happens here. Will he get his third interview in a row? <laughs> Will he be able to keep his voice at the end of the series at this rate. So, and hey, this is the first time we've seen Eclipse lose. Very just much even so. Just around. Yep. And we talked about it. If, if Blasts are going to win, they got to pick up the round, then they got to pick up the series, and then they got to do it all over again. Finally, we're seeing the Kings of North America being pushed, and what a better team to do it than Blast, the Kings of Europe at the moment. We are going to have, I think it's Lone Gecko there trading himself out. Bit of a face mask really quickly just to refresh that. Then we'll get him back in game, ready to take the fight to the guys on Eclipse. Potentially pull off the upset here for a 2-0 start in this grand final. Looks like we're just getting loaded back in. Everyone going to be readying up. Simeon, he's been, you know, looking at what's made Eclipse successful before. He's been struggling. I mean, the thing is, he scored. Like, he, he scored points for them, so don't get me wrong. But he hasn't been as free as he's been in the past against other teams. Um, Powder's done a great job of defending the goal. Only, only one of the few people we've seen be able to stop Lone Gecko. And Lemmy has just been trying to be a nuisance, constantly pummeling away as many targets as possible. Here we go, Blue. Blast gonna come up with launch as well. Both teams gonna be sending themselves out into the arena here. It's looking like Eclipse get initial control, but look at all the pressure being brought up by Blast. It's countered out there by Eclipse, credit to them. Lone Gecko will try to get into the way, but he can't do that. Pass interference moves in, but it's Affentera once again to stop the forward momentum and send it right back to midfield. Again, Affentera, he read the pass coming in. He gets aggressive. He forces him to go for the quick clear, or the, the quick pass, which forced to clear eventually. He just wasn't able to land it. And Eclipse still able to maintain control. Lemming pushing this one up slowly. Eclipse like the slow style. Blast like to play a lot faster and a lot more brawl, as you can see, as they're getting in their faces again. They're going to chase after the disc, and they will get it 100%. No one's going to be there to stop them for now. And Lone Gecko is pushed up. I think he's in a head-to-head -head fight against Lemmy. They're just sticking to each other. It's like man-to-man -man defense. Simeon going to be able to pick up the disc for right now. Another pass over, but it bounces off the island, sends it loose. Lenning's still able to retrieve it for right now, but no, it's going to be Lone Gecko that picks it up. Sends it further towards middle here, but they've got a lot of players from Eclipse. Look at that, though. A very quick clear from the player on the back lane there from Blast, but they don't have anyone to shoot across the arena and pick up possession once again, so Eclipse are going to get it back relatively quickly. Another pass over to Paladar, but he's alone here. and he's waiting for teammates to get into position, so he'll send it back over to Simeon so he can be the one to push up the field. There's Lemming coming in. Lemming Whoa. with the shot. Affetera is going to be there. And Affetera will get the block. And we'll be back on the side of Eclipse here. But that's going to be now another man, Lone Gecko, able to get to the disc in a second of time. But Eclipse are wasting a lot of time this possession. And Boop's able to get the defense with his teammates. Gets the clear. But will they get the transition across the map? No, you can see 
the train coming out of Eclipse. They actually overshoot this one. Oh my lord! Low Gecko's picked this up. He goes for the shot. That's going to be Simeon there to block that one out, showing he can score and he can defend. Great save from Simeon, but it's not going to stop them. Blaster coming back to make another run at this here. We've got Lone Gecko looking to sneak in. He's probably going to go for a pass. No, goes right for it. Another good stop this time from Palador as they save it and send it back to middle. And they're going to go for a run. Oh, no. In addition to this one, Simeon was held back, but look, there's the no one there to defend. Stolen. It's an open goal right now. Boop just has to get the pass off. They're holding this back, waiting for the right time. And it goes for the three pointer. It sinks it in as Blast will shoot ahead, scoring the first goal in the second round. And that first goal is going to be a three as well. Getting Blast even further into the lead. Can they keep this pace up though? Keep in mind how much time was used in that possession, in that first goal, a minute and 56 seconds. Can they continue to keep this pace? Can they continue to play like this, not only for this round, but potentially two more? Because they're still gonna have to take another best of three to dethrone the Kings of Echo Arena. That's gonna be the tough task. Do they have the fortitude to be able to keep themselves at this level for that amount of time? It's gonna be certainly a test of not only their mental fortitude, but their physical endurance as well. As we mentioned before, it's a hybrid game here in VR. These players have to be able to keep themselves alive. A great response coming in there for Eclipse, however. Great passes, sets them up for an easy three-pointer to immediately tie things up at three to three. Yeah, look at that, the, the pressure on a Simeon. He's able to re-pick up the disc again. Threads the needle on the pass and then swoops right past Boop right there to be able to sink a goal. And stuns 3-3-3 three, three, three for Boop, Aventer, and Lone Gecko. Lemming, 6 again. He seems to just be the bruiser for the team at the moment. Well, and a score <laughs> since they only are able to get the 3 themselves. Now Blast starting with the disc again. Quick pass over to Boop. And he gets a quick clear. Ooh, oh, oh. Lone Gecko is almost alone too. That should have been a, that basically should have been a two pointer right there, as there was no one in goal time. If he successfully picked up that pass, maybe with a three pointer would have been a possibility for him here. But he's still going to be sticking around. Problem is he has Palador right behind him, constantly just stun locking him right now. So he's going to have to figure out a way to be able to deal with that one as the distance goes back and forth in possession between the two teams. It does look like uh -oh. the Eclipse get a nice clear. Oh, and Simeon getting in the way, but as well we did see another player from Blast getting in the way of Eclipse's own slingshot. Palador misses the pickup, buys extra time. Aventer diving back down, a bounce off the backboard will be a big miss though. And Eclipse Clips misses a great opportunity as Boop picks up possession and gets a clear back over to midfield. Lemming had a great play there too. He interrupted the daisy chain, allowing Clips for a potential chance, but the dish just bounced a little bit too wide. Affenter gets the pass from the enemy and throws it back to the other side of the field. And that's going to be the daisy chain coming across. The slingshot. Simeon going to be pressured right away. Gets punched out. It's in the blue hands. They're actually a thrown well, potential clear slash pass over towards the goal. And now Boop, he has an opportunity, he has Affentair there as well to go for the punch. Lemming getting actually no chance to defend this one, and Boop gets the two points. Blast securing. I was hoping for oh. it, I was hoping for Blue. Sorry, I fell. It's all right, it's all right, we got we, more chances, we missed I think. It. We missed it, yeah, there might be more chances for that, especially with Blast now shooting ahead. Five to three, only a minute and 40 seconds remaining here, and they've got the first best of three series, only one more to go after that, and they will take the title from Eclipse. They crown the champions of the Invitational. You know, I can't tell who our, our crowd here in the studio is cheering for. Maybe they could be a little bit louder um, and be able to figure it out. Because it's been a... I, I think they're free for Eclipse. I don't know. Maybe, yeah, maybe they'll prove me wrong here in a second. A little hard to tell. Meantime, Eclipse starting with the disc. Loop again, looking for that defense there. You can just hear how quiet it gets when they're playing. And Affentary comes in nice. aggressive. He gets the punch, the double punch coming in. But he has his teammate there. It's going to be Lone Gecko. Let's play off towards that right-hand side now. Misty Cusp between the two of them for a second as they exchange stuns back and forth, but now they're going to be moving in. It's inside of Eclipse's zone. Once again, a chance for Aventura to secure another two-pointer, and he does it once again. They're off to a roaring start. They've got a massive lead over Eclipse, and there's only a minute and 20 seconds left to respond. Yeah, and the, the time, it's, it's doing it in a way. It's now a two-score lead here for Blast. And by Lord, if, if they can beat Eclipse 2-0, that's going to be ridiculous. No team's been able to challenge Eclipse, and for good reason. And let's see now, Eclipse. A minute and 17 seconds. They need to get. The thing is, they, they can't even go. They can't even depend on any three pointers. They have to go for the. Two. Oh, what the? What is this? Low gecko. This is going to be stopped. We have to hold on here because I did see a call from. I think it was Palador. Yeah. Oh. So just to clarify, folks. Just to clarify, we need everybody to calm down for a sec. That goal does not count. Palador did make the call well before the, both teams came out of the launch tube, so we will be resetting that, and that goal will not be counting. Well, this is a, a much-needed break, I think, besides of Eclipse as well. 
kind of collect their thoughts. There was a minute and was 17 or 14 seconds remaining. They're really going to have to pull themselves together because, again, without being challenged, like, you know, we talked about, again, the pressure of Blast. We already mentioned this before, you know, coming in as the underdog against Eclipse. But the pressure that's on Eclipse always being that top dog in the world when it comes to Ark Arena and everyone always gunning for their position. And it's only, I guess, coming more real as they're potentially looking at losing this first best of three. They only need one best of three win to close this entire Invitational down. And we could hear Palador yelling there, too. He was was angry about the current state of affairs for his team there, so they want to be able to get back into this, find a way to recover in this series. Otherwise, they're going to be looking at their first 0-2 defeat, I think, in quite a while in both online play and land play. I was going to say, like, ever. <laughs> yeah, <pretty laughs> like, maybe besides scrims that we haven't been able to watch, but in, 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 in comp or com competition and professional play, definitely one of the first times we're going to be losing. This is not going to be easy for Eclipse to get back into that. Even if they do manage to secure a three-pointer here to get back into this game relatively quickly, they still have to go into the next round. Again, Blast starting out with possession this time. Probably, I would say, around like 30 seconds or less to actually steal possession away and then score is, a second goal to take the lead I don't back. see a three-pointer happening. Yeah, it's, because it's, it's been Blast, so rare. Yeah, and because that's because the teams like are at this kind of level where they realize we need to just deny a three-point. We cannot let them get it, especially as time dwindles away a little bit further and we get closer to that zero mark. I almost guarantee Blast are going to almost uh, keep that person in the goal to stop those from happening. Just basically play for security as there's absolutely zero reason to risk an open goal and an open three-pointer, which would thrust the clips right back into the round. Yeah, it looks like, looks like Powder is looking good now, just testing all the settings. Should be getting into this one in just a few seconds. But, you know, think of all the times the clips have won, all the clips we had. Simeon, screaming, going Super Saiyan, jumping. We've seen none of that this entire match. He's been so quiet. And I wonder if that's in the minds of Eclipse, you know, realizing that whenever they win, it's always him screaming because he's pumped up, he's hyped, he's getting shots off. But now they've been able to silence the man who seems to be unsilenceable before. So loud previously and now it's no longer the case. It's both teams getting back into it. I think we should be live relatively soon here, guys. So we're looking at both teams pretty much ready to go. They just have to, I think, reset the timer to where it should be, get the right goal going. You can see it going on in the back monitors there. They've just done that. So this next reset of a volley should be live between the two teams to see if Eclipse can round this comeback or if it's going to be a 2-0 for Blast. Oh. Yeah, it looks like we have another issue this time out of Lemming. I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, he's definitely got to call over the, uh, the admins really quickly. See if we can get a fix on of this one. Again, this break works twofold. It helps clips calm down, gather their thoughts, and it also ices blast. You know, you see this a lot in, in professional sports, like for instance, American football, where they're going for a field goal where you kick the ball through the, the goals for three points, um, usually typically to win a match. You see teams use their timeouts to freeze out the kicker. And obviously there's no times out since it's a technical issue, but it does work out in their favor to, you know, kind of deny this this momentum that Blast has been able to secure. There's a little bit of time for Blast to rest as well and kind of reset their own energy a little bit here. But as you said, it does also have that negative effect of calming them down when they're heated right now. They're scoring a lot of goals relatively quickly. But the good news for them is they have a solid lead established over the Eclipse roster. And now if they really want to go for this, all they have to do is play defensively and try to just deny a three-pointer. As long as they can do that, they're in good straights to take this second round and pull off a 2-0. Well, here's some highlights from what we have had in this series. In the grand finals here in Leicester, England. Still want to call it Leicester. I was told I had to call it at once. Well, you've done it. I did. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and you just see what it means to Blast. I think, I think again, like a couple teams came into this tournament to kind of like reconfirm or reaffirm like the amount of time they're spending into the into the game. You know, the commitment they, they, they've given it to get some sort of reward into it and to kind of show show off all this work. And I think you, you see what it means to Aphantar every time they score a goal. He just screams. He I'm waiting for him to bang his chest like a gorilla <laughs> at this rate. Maybe we can get something like that going if he can somehow hear me down there. If they, if they get the W, we might, we might actually see something like that if they manage to take this all the way into the second series as well. But that, that's really going to be the big challenge for them, like I said, is if they can keep this going. We've already seen them do it once a few months ago back in March of the Season 1 Finals. This went the distance. This went to that second repeated series. Eclipse were still able to close <laughs> out at the end of the day, however. So we're going to see as Blast are looking very, very likely to get another their opportunity for that resetted series. I really wonder who the crowd's cheering for. <laughs> I can't tell. So we've got pretty much all of our players getting hyped. 
down there along with some of our spectators as well. I think we're almost ready, actually. Looks like Lemmings good to go now. I think Looks so. like everyone Blast is good to go. Everyone's back in headset, so I think we're good. pretty much good to start here, assuming no other issues pop it. up. <laughs> you know? like, yeah, it looks like they're ready to go, and there's no issue. <laughs> uh, we should be getting this one underway. And I, I want to I want to continue this. I guarantee everyone at home, everyone in the studio here, wants to see the conclusion of this exciting match. It's just a matter of time. We're getting there in just a few seconds. We get to see if Eclipse can fight back. That's just weird to say. If Eclipse can come back. what? <laughs> I didn't think those words existed yeah, in the same a, sentence before. Some odd vernacular there. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely had to, have, had to use that yet. So I think players are just setting up the last goal right now, and then as soon as they do that, again, next volley reset, assuming no technical issues do pop up, we will be good to continue the game and see if Eclipse can run the comeback with only about a minute and 15 seconds remaining, if memory serves me correctly. I'm gonna definitely have to run the gauntlet here. And pressure's on. Again, a lot of three-pointers have been denied over the course of this entire series. Let's see, Blue. Give me your thoughts. Do you think Boost can, or <laughs> Boost? Do you think Blast can do this? I think they can boost their way to a victory. Especially with with how. It, the, here's the thing: the squads look close, but it, it's definitely been, in, in my eyes as well, Blast has been kind of outclassing Eclipse in a lot of ways. So if that continues, absolutely. But we're gonna have to wait and see. They still have to get through this round as well, and we are finally live once again, ladies and gentlemen. So let's see if Blast can do it. If they can pull up the 2-0 over Eclipse, reset the clock, and take us into a second best of three. Oh, they actually go for the man-to-man -man here. You see everyone splitting off, going towards their targets. Boop gets a great grab because Simeon was by himself in the back lines. Helder will be there to retrieve this, though. But everyone on Blast is committed. Simon is still deep. He's still really far gone into the enemy territory. They want to get the ball to him, get that disc into his hand so he can go for a score. And they might be able to. That's actually going to be a good little retreat, though, with the slingshot use. Blast will be in position. More than likely should be able to deny any three-pointer attempt, but they've got their entire team moving. And now it's a loose throw over to Simeon, but saved by Affin Terror and sent into the void once again. Just loading up to his name, being a true terror in the goal. This time it's for Eclipse, who just can't seem to score against him. 35 seconds and counting. They're down by four. That's going to be two shots. And Blast continue to keep disengaging these fights over and over again. Continue to throw this disc as far down. It's going to be actually Lemmy by himself. But again, coming in from the side, it's going to be another player. He goes for the shot from Hail Mary. He's not going to connect. 19 seconds left here. Blue, I don't know if Eclipse can come back from this. Lone Gecko, especially with him clearing a reach, they're going to try to reset. They need a three-pointer now. Try to bounce off the backboard. It does connect, however. Six to seven. They're tied, or they're nearly tied up now. But this is the problem. Ten seconds left. That was a three-pointer, too. Ten seconds, and Blast are going to have control of the disc here. Eclipse, they just have to go for it. They just have to boost straight into this and hope that somehow Blast messes this up. And if Blast could just get a proper clear, just get into the hands of a quick pass over to Boop if he doesn't get interrupted, then they're looking at a series lead. Well, a series tie, technically. All the Blasts have to do here is get a loose disc. And this game is over. And we will see this go into a repeated series now. Here's the launch. And again, Disc is just thrown into the open. That should be it right there. They're going to try to bounce back. In fact, it almost actually bounces into the goal right there. Nowhere near enough time, though. So Blast, ladies and gentlemen, will take control of the opening series. Two to nothing over the crowning champions of season one of the VR League. And as well, the team they made it all the way to this point without dropping a single round. Now, seemingly out of nowhere, they've dropped two and have to face off in a whole new best of three against them once more. Oh boy, oh boy, it gets real now. Blast with the 2-0, out of nowhere, mind you, coming up against Eclipse, knocking them off the pedestal just a little bit, but can they knock them off all the way is the big question. What a game coming out from Blast. And you hear the, everyone in the crowd here is loving it too. Everyone rooting yeah. boost on every time they score, they're playing like, practically perfect. thing is, Eclipse has been unable to punish the speed that Blast can pay, uh, play at. We've seen Lemming try, which is why you've seen his stun numbers be so high compared mm -hmm. to the rest of his team, trying to be that, that roadblock for them. And yet, Boop and Lone Gecko have been able to get away, and, and Affinter has been able to shut down Simeon over and over again. Absolutely. They look like a very well-rounded package here, do Blast, going up against Eclipse. Eclipse seem to feel like... They've lost a little bit of their flair, a little bit of their mojo, a little bit of their energy coming into that series. It seems like they're dumbstruck almost now, as, as they've come into this series and it's like, what happened? We're all of a sudden dropping these games left and right. They still keep it very competitive, and, and props to Simeon. That last goal that we did see oh, yeah. right at the end of it was very impressive. We're probably going to get to see it here in a couple of moments. That was a very smart move that he pulled off the bounce of the backboard against Daffinter, finally countering him out, but he's just proven so hard to get past, sadly. Seems like a lot of the opening tactics here coming out from Blast feel 
very well rehearsed in terms of the the way they're able to sweep across the arena here and just kind of deny what Eclipse wants it's, to do. It's not even like something new. This is something they've been doing this entire tournament. Just get yeah, those yeah. two across the arena. And it's not like they've been forced to switch up their style. It's It's been more about what can we do to Eclipse to allow us to play our style. Mm. And it's been working so well for them. I just wonder if Eclipse is going to have an answer. I mean, they're going to luckily have like a little bit of time to talk things over and figure yeah, things yeah. out potentially. But, but Blast, they're looking... They're looking fine. They're what, looking do you, good. what do you feel Eclipse needs to tighten up here? Uh, otherwise, they're they're going to lose. <laughs> what do you think it is? The biggest thing is they're just letting Blast get too many... Uh, it, it seems like they're letting Blast get too many interceptions against them. There's so many discs that are just getting stolen midair. And not only that, too, but they have to find a way to get past Affentera. Affentera has stopped so many goal attempts throughout the course of that series. They just have to figure out a way to constantly try to stun lock him inside of the goal or just get him out of there somehow. I think Aventer is the big... Well, Aventer and Boop, actually. Boop has been doing a great job of intercepting time and time again. Yeah, yeah. But Aventer, just shutting down Simeon. Like, the fact that he doesn't play, like, any goal that we've really seen so far, I'd say, where Aventer won't just sit in the goal and let someone come to you. He'll come to, or come to him. He'll come to you. He'll take the fight to you and deny you these potential shots. Not seen as much right here, which he's already had quick hands on. But every time there's a one-on-one... -on -one, he doesn't allow you to get the shot off that you want. He tries to force a shot out of you and force a mistake. He's also just so good at disc prediction. We were seeing earlier players like Dash were running into issues where they would be able to reduce it down to a two-pointer, but when the actual shot came in, they weren't really good at figuring out where the angle was going to come from. Affentera has successfully predicted so many shots, and it just outright stopped them with an easy grab right there. I mean, let's give credit, though, to Palador. Like, uh, we've seen almost no one be able to shut down Lone Gecko, and he's been able to do that 1v1. All right, it's time to get into it. This is the extended match. This is for all the marbles, the best of three. Eclipse goes up against Blast as Blast gets the bracket reset. As we said before there, with a re bracket reset, we go back down to 0-0 zero, zero now. Blast looking to try and take another 2-0, of course, but that's going to be hard to do considering that they've now played three best of threes in a row. So energy has to be running low, or at least we would think that. Look at then. Again, Affentary pushes out to Lemming. Disc going to be well, picked up eventually. Oh, Simeon almost gets a shot off there, but Lone Gecko does get the interruption, does get the disc clear. Paladar will be able to pick this one up. You can see the brawl on the minimap happening. Blast trying to get over here towards this side of the map, but they're just constantly being locked down. And finally, they get the grab. Oh, Paladar is going to go for a quick clear. Boop gets sent right in. And Boop's not able to land the shot, but Paladar does get the shot, or the, the, the clear force out of him immediately here. And Lemmy comes in. Oh, Lone Gecko comes in. Boop, can he somehow pick this up for a shot? Oh! And he's going to go in with a three pointer. Blast starts us off with a bang once again as they shoot ahead with a lead starting in their favor. I think all three rounds for the most part have gone this way so far, with maybe Eclipse scoring first on the opening one. Just slaps it down into the ground, and Lone Gecko's going to be there for the shot. Or sorry, Boop's going to be there for the shot. So well done by them. And again, there was a big skirmish, a big brawl breaking out on Blast's side. But they get all three members across. And I think Affentera sits back to actually interrupt any sort of chance that Eclipse can get them with their own slingshot. And or allows Blast to get that nice three-pointer in. Comes the launch. Now Eclipse starting out with possession. And of course, Palador will be the quarterback. Sends it over, but it's oh, a loose again. disc. And right into the hands of Affentera, who's going to pass this down the field. Trying to send it to the hands of Lone Gecko there, but he's a little bit off position. So it should give it over to Palador and give him a chance to send this towards his teammates. He can throw it high if he wants to to get it onto the enemy side. Yeah, he's going to do just that. Actually hits the ceiling, comes back down, doesn't get the full clear that he's looking for. And again, this is going to be in the hands of Blast. Affentera has time to work with. They haven't even gone for these slow plays. They've just gone for super fast shots. They're not going for any set things. We haven't seen the great disc handling skills that they can provide. Lone Gecko comes in for the 1v1. Paladar, can he defend this again? And he won't. He goes high with it. And Gecko, he takes him up to a 5-0 lead. Finds the opening in the goal there. Shooting down from behind there. Sinks it right into the top of the goal line. Giving it over to Blast once again. As now the lead continues to Blossom at 5 to nothing over Eclipse. And of course... Will be a goal without the Affentera celebration that we've been seeing time after time again. They are feeling the hype, they are feeling this win, and they are drawing closer and closer towards it with each and every goal. Let's see. Can Eclipse somehow come back into this one? They struggled so far. Oh, that disc almost being caught again. Boop as well, almost there in the nick of time. Affentera will be there. It's actually have a lot of company, but great job by Lone Gecko to interrupt Palador. Gets it back to Boop. Boop, back to slowing things down, just goes for the long shot, goes for the mail no. shot, and he gets the three-pointer for 43 meters, Blast! 
is up 8-0. Perfect shot coming out from him. Boop once again showing us his skills at long range with a perfect mail slot shot for him to secure additional points for Blast well into the lead now. Still so much time left granted again because they've been playing for goals. They haven't been so keen on trying to do any delay taxes just yet. But now with an eight point lead, they might be starting to look towards that. Look at those three pointers that Boop's been able to put in. Eclipse, so many forced errors coming out. And even at some points, unforced errors. These passes have just been not connecting. And for a team who has such good basic mechanics, as we see there again, it doesn't go to the right target. It bounces off the wall. It's forcing another throw in to come in. And now Simeon won't have the opportunity for a breakaway, but they wh what's happening? Eclipse are falling apart. Nice little juke right there, though. At least sends the disc back over to his teammates. Palador has an opportunity to pass towards either one. He might go directly for the goal. He's going to try to shoot right inside. No! Another block from Effin Terror. Beautiful work. And he sends it right back into Orange territory. And look at this. We've got the two man team this already inside. This could be it. They're taking a little while to establish it, but it's a clean goal from Boop. Up to 11 now for Blast. I feel like we've seen this before. Except there's a clip to other teams taking like 15, 14 point leads and Blast. Oh man, they're almost able to do it here in this Invitational here in the UK. Coming in as a number one EU seed, showing why they're the number one EU seed. The only team to challenge out against the best of the best. Look at those stuns. They're leading in stuns. They're, they're behind in possession because they've been scoring so much. But they're making all these shots and they're up. A phenomenal lead. And basically every category on the stat board there as well. So phenomenal work being done here from Blast. Just absolutely dominating Eclipse in this round. They've rattled them for sure now. Again? Eclipse, they've got to clean this up. This was the main problem even in the last series, but it's only seemed to have amplified now going into this one. Although this will be a good opportunity right here. Simeon finally flanking around. Seemingly the player that could not miss a block. Affentera finally fails and it gets Eclipse on the board. Yeah, that was a good job by Simeon to adopt. He knew Affentera was going to push into him. So he actually baits him out, goes with a shot over his head. Doesn't give him the chance to go for this. And finally, like you said, gets Eclipse on the board. This is so needed for them. But again, now Blast is going to have control of the disc. For the first time at the start of the round, two minutes and 30 seconds to go, half the time has elapsed. But can Blast keep this up? Remember, they played against Gravity in a similar situation, a very similar situation, and they threw that lead. Can Blast keep their composure here in the Grand Finals? A little bit of a bank is not going to necessarily go. They would have liked to bounce off the fourth field, send the disc loose into the open. Lemming should be able to retrieve it, but he's not going to be able to keep it for too long, and he knows it, so he sends it flying. A nice little bank off the bottom. I don't think that Eclipse will win the race. They will move in relatively quickly, however, so Boop has to get rid of this, and he does just that. Really good clear. He was being pressured heavily. Now Eclipse on the attack. Simeon probably going to go for a pass here. They go for the punch on Affenter to delay this. It's actually going to be stolen away. Now the disc is in free fall. Well, he can't free fall in zero gravity, but no one had control of it. And now the two-man squad push in. They're going to get the forward pass to Affentera. Can he get the two points? Is he going to catch it? Yes, it is! And that's another three coming in! 14 to 2. Blast cannot be stopped. And Lemming as well trying to race to the inside, but too slow. Blast scoring once again. And another open goal opportunity as well. There's too many of these being presented to them. Eclipse just cannot keep up with Blast's movement right now. We talked about how many times how movement is key in Echo Arena, and Blast are putting on a clinic here up against Eclipse. Nine points for Boop, 13 stuns out of Lone Gecko. Are we going to have a new reigning king here in England? I think with the pickup right now, but Boop punches him out. Not before the pass goes over, however. So another chance to score for Eclipse. And once again, it's Simeon, the point man, to do it. But these two pointers aren't going to work well enough for them. They're just whittling score up onto the board right now. It's Blue. Not I think they're just happy to get any points on the board at this rate. I agree, like two it. points aren't going to work, but getting anything there just to stop this route, stop this momentum that Blast had picked up. It was a clean play. It was what they're used to. It worked out well. Simeon, again, being aggressive, gets the shot off. They need to keep that up. They need to keep clawing away at this. It's just they have to worry about time being wasted against them. But it doesn't seem like Blast wants to play the Eclipse style. They want to keep scoring and scoring and scoring and set Eclipse back mentally. And if they're being presented with this many open goal opportunities, there's no reason why they shouldn't be going for it as well. It's worked out so brilliantly for them. A little bit close here as well. Lone Gecko almost being able to steal a quick two-pointer away My from Lord. Eclipse. It will fumble again. But now, on one. here we go. They're going to be moving in. Lone Gecko is holding back Lemming, and they score an easy two-pointer. 16 now as they keep climbing and climbing on the scoreboard against Eclipse. We're getting to one of the highest scoring games that we've had so far in this tournament. It was 20 to Eclipse and their debut game here on stream up against Metamurks. 20 to 4 was that score. Hell, Blast are getting close to putting up that exact same thing. 16 to 4 at the moment. 
minute and 24 left to go. And Eclipse, of course, will have possession again. But they need to do something drastic. They know coming back from this is going to be difficult. Why not play a little bit crazy, a little bit wild? Another fumble pass. Come on, Eclipse. You have to clean these up. Palador will still successfully be able to retrieve it for now. Simeon also going to have to bounce back downstairs. But look, we've got pressure coming back very quickly because of the sloppy pass. It's no longer going to be such an easy goal opportunity here for Eclipse. Boop trying to race to the inside. He's got Palador moving up onto him as well. And where is that going? Well over to the side. Ruins the opportunity for Eclipse. And Blast will clear it once again as we're now under a minute remaining. Get a missed pass. That should have been almost a guaranteed shot. Oh my lord. Are they going to do another three-pointer? There's no one here to defend against as Boop goes in with the underhand. The granny shot. Puts him at 19. Almost up to 20 here now for Blast. Where's the mercy rule, Blue? Ah, we might have to bring it back after this game. As Blast, again, just absolutely schooling Eclipse in what seemed to be their tournament to take up to this point. And all of a sudden, that is not so much the case. Eclipse need to recover soon. They need to recover now. Otherwise, this will be a 4-0 win for Blast. I think at this rate, if Blast just played defense, Keep all three people at the goal and just deny three pointers. I think they're going to win based off of that because they're going to have control. They're going to be able to stall again. The aggression coming through disrupts the clean, slow play that Eclipse like to go for. You can see Aventer, he's just constantly hammering away at Lemming. He wants to take away the stun count from him. Powder's able to push up. He's being closed in from behind. He's got to be careful. And Lone Gecko is going to be in goal. Passes it back relatively quickly here over towards Lemming now. Ooh, but a bank off the island's going to send it loose once again. 24 Time. seconds remaining. These players are moving far too slowly on Eclipse to give them any real hope at all of coming back into it. Another clear from Affenter sends it further into the middle. And there's just no physical way that Eclipse can come oh, back into this oh, now. come on. No, Blast, you can't do this. The shot inside. Lone Gecko swoops it right in. And Blast do push up to the lucky 21 now as there's only eight seconds remaining, and there is no way Eclipse are getting back into this. Blast will, for certain, have a 1-0 lead in this next series. Yeah, I think Simeon oh, either have some tech issues or they realize it's over. Those headsets have come off again. I mean, we promised an exciting grand final. I thought it was going to be a close grand final, but this is still exciting as Blast, one round, one round away from taking this whole thing. All right, and it looks like, again, Goal does count 4 to 21. The entire team has theirs off, however, so I don't... Yeah, there was like 10 seconds yeah, left. There's I've... physically no chance you can come back from this. So I think maybe they've just conceded the rest of that round. Or, I mean, I would assume you can see the rest of that round knowing there's nothing you can do and use this time to talk things over and figure out what's going wrong. We'll get final confirmation, of course, on that in just a few minutes, but I think it's a safe assumption at this point, as it is quite literally physically impossible for Eclipse to get back into the game. So Blast have it. They've set it up now. Game, set, and match soon to potentially come if Eclipse do not immediately rebound and take the next Everyone two rounds. Everyone takes their headset off, and is like, no, I want to keep playing. <laughs> like, let's just keep going, guys. He's in the zone. He doesn't want to yeah. be interrupted. Probably just getting some water, rehydrate a bit, because again, this is their fourth best of three in a row. Yeah, we get some admins back over, see what's going on. Gonna... Crowd's got to be happy about this too. They've been cheering <laughs> on Blast, and Blast have been just giving them respect back, putting up those numbers. Twenty-one, the biggest score, uh, biggest score we've ever had so far now in this whole tournament. You can see Eclipse. They're huddled there on the left side of the screen, trying to figure out how to bring this back. A little bit of communication between them. Play a little bit of rejuvenation as well as they get themselves away from their setups for a moment. But this is it. One more chance, and it has to be perfect now from Eclipse. They have to run the gauntlet two to nothing against Blast to be able to take this tournament still. And to be fair to Eclipse, to run it back now with how this entire Grand Finals has gone would be impressive. It'd be impressive as hell. It's a real showing of their mental fortitude to you know take those losses and figure out what to do differently. I mean, I'm looking at Palador. He is just dripping with sweat. You can tell what's on the line for all these teams. Oh, man. Pretty massive difference in prize pool as well to be gained between first and second place. So a lot that these players are going to be looking for in that respect. Yeah, it's a double. Six to three. Extra grand in your pocket. I wouldn't, I wouldn't complain about that. Yeah. You know, buy some sweet Yu-Gi-Oh cards as far as said. <laughs> what a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> if you Warhammer sets. <laughs> I'd probably buy more sensors. Yeah. yeah I, mean, <laughs> I only have two. You're gonna <laughs> to turn around doesn't work well for me. I'm just going to go for like an eight sensor setup. Just... Maybe uh, try to break down that wall next to me so I can have a bigger space to play in. <laughs> it looks like Simmons getting set back up again. Looks like they're actually going to finish out that round, I'm guessing. But still, 
There's no chance to come back from this. This is going to be Blast with a 1-0 lead in the second best of three. Oh, man. And again, I mean, they, they said it's coming home, but I guess it's coming home to Europe in Echo Arena, not in footy. <laughs> seems to be the case if things continue on as they're predicted to right now. Again, just more and more credit to Blast and the fact that they've been able to perform this well for this long of an amount of time. They've been going for, I think, three or four hours straight now, basically, only getting, you know, 10 or 15 minute break in between these matches. And we just got to confirm the last 10 seconds of this game will be played out. But like we said before, it's pretty much impossible for Eclipse to run. It's 100% possible. Just the time to get to the, the disc and all Blast has to do is just throw it away. Yeah. Or sorry, well, I guess Eclipse starts with it. Either way. The time it takes to throw it downfield that many times to win, <laughs> 10 seconds isn't enough. <laughs> so we're basically looking forward into the next match here. And of course, if you guys want to have a chance to win an Oculus Rift, head over to ESL.gg slash Rift giveaway. Maybe we'll be seeing you playing in these tournaments. There's also there's still the weekly cups going on. You can head over to vr.eslgaming.com. You can check that out if you want to sign up and participate. Just get you and two of your buds together. And we could be seeing you live here, especially with the Stage 2 Finals to come later on. Not to mention we have the World Qualifiers for NA and for EU. It all culminates into a four-team tournament, two from NA, two from EU, and the Oculus Connect. We'll see that at the end of September for the Grand Finals of the VR League. And again, just taking a look at the bracket, taking a look at how these teams managed to get here. Blast being knocked down to the lower bracket early on, had to battle their way all the way back. Three games in the lower bracket, along with taking down 11.5, who was the favorite to potentially rematch against Eclipse here into the Grand Final. You heard um, in the interview, I was at Powder was saying, yeah, we want to play. Actually, it was Lemmy saying, yeah, we think it's going to be 11.5 getting through the Grand Finals again. They're the only team that has, seems to be on the same level, is what he said, uh, as them. So definitely being proven a little bit wrong here as Boost, or sorry, Blast have stepped up to the plate. So we do have that last and most recent goal yeah. being scored, guys. Just a second. Yeah, so we are going to restart things here. Well, 10 seconds or so, we should be good to jump back into game and witness those final 10 seconds and see Blast claim their first round of the repeated series. I'm curious to see if Eclipse can change anything up into the next round. Eight seconds, no chance. Pretty much, yeah. It's less than 10 seconds, actually. I really wish we could actually listen into like Eclipse's comms or any of the team's comms just to hear what's going on in the game because you would imagine there's a lot of screaming, there's a lot of pressure on all the players. I would imagine that Eclipse's comms are maybe a little bit quiet, at least during that match, because you could tell they're, they're struggling here. So there we go, guys. The score is now confirmed. 21 to 4 is the final score for the opening round of the repeated series. And it is going to be our European representative. That is now only one more game away. Blast being one game away from being able to secure this series and take control of the entire event. Should be loading this one up just shortly for you guys. Yeah, players already had a pretty decent break when we had the pause right there for a tech issue, so we are gonna, probably going to jump directly back into yep. it. Also, you know, while we have this time, give a quick shout out to the ESL UK production team doing a fantastic job putting on this whole shindig for you guys. Love always coming here to uh, enjoy the uh, the company and the work. And of course, our two G, uh, our two commentators, DJ and Mele, have been doing a fantastic job. So make sure to give them a big shout out as well. Cause they've been doing a great job. All right, so here we go, folks. Blast set up now. 1-0 over Eclipse. Starting the second round of the repeated series here. Blast can do it. Blast can take the title, but Eclipse... Oh, look at they that. They want to recover, and what a good start, but another whiffed goal attempt here coming out from Simeon. He's got time to try it again, and they'll get onto the board first. So they start things off 2 to nothing in the second round. Well, they did say they're the best jousting team out there, and they proved it right there, getting Simeon extremely deep. Affentair pushed up against him to try to go for the interception or for the punch. And yeah, Simon did miss that first shot, but he still gets in the lead, most importantly. And is this is Eclipse's chance to climb back into this one? Is this the start of the comeback? Well, we can't call it a comeback just yet. But with 10 seconds in the score, that's not a bad start. The launch going to be coming out in just about a few seconds here. Blast once more, starting out with possession this time. So we'll see how they go for their opening volley. A race across the side here as well. So they are going to try to play man-to-man -man defense set up. Oh, he's but playing no, it. He's <gasps> going to go over. No, oh, what is he doing? He just tries to go right through the force field. What kind of mistake is that? Eclipse will get immediate possession back as a result of that. And now they're going to be looking for a goal opportunity. Aventer, he's got to get rid of this quickly. And he does just that. That was still amazing, though. They knew exactly where Boop is going. A perfect angle to throw it into. On Gecko, I don't think. No way. Oh, no, no way. No, no way. 
Oh, that's going to be Simi there to block out on that one. Does deny the two points. Potentially three. I couldn't see if he was on the bubble or not. And that disc is super far back. You see them retreating away, too, trying to make sure to get their, uh, get someone in time. That's going to be Lemming coming in. He just needs to get the disc. He's going to have another two points, and that's Eclipse now up 4-0. More importantly, if you guys couldn't hear it at home, that's Simeon waking up. That's him screaming. That's him getting fired up. Because now they're finding some consistency here, too. It's now both teams that are running into some issues. Eclipse, of course, almost messing up there. But Blast with an awful mistake, basically having themselves a free opportunity to score, but trying to take this right through the force field, obviously not going to work. Who would have thought? Who would have thought that Eclipse would be able to bounce back like this? I think they're showing true signs of a world-class team as well, more importantly. Shrugging off those last losses. Woo boop. Good little clear over. Went into the hands of Lemmy. They seem to have gotten the read in. They seem to figure them out. Simeon's now open. They get the pass off towards him. He's going to be all alone for a three pointer. And Eclipse now up 7 0. Massively for them. And all of a sudden, we're seeing massive issues from Blast. Uh, they, for instance, not following up their players supposed to be defending against properly. Affentaire all of a sudden is being found out of goal a lot because of this aggressive strategy. And this is again that misplay that we had. Oh, we have the replay coming out here now, the most recent goal. But we're going to be taking another look here at what exactly happened with that force field play as we see Boop just forgetting that it exists apparently and trying to take the disc directly through it. Still, that was a great pass to him to Af from Affentaire to Boop. Like, that was fantastic. It was just kind of a miscommunication or misjudgment uh, of where he was positioned. For that player. There we go. Blast now looking to get on the board here in our second round. Technically our fourth round. It does hit a wonky angle. And Lemon's able to pick this one back up. Boop's trying to come in. The disc will be cleared. And uh-oh. Lemming. Alright, well, we won't be able to get there in time since the uh, boost comes in out of Blast. They are struggling here, and they, are, they seem to have no answer to the way Eclipse is playing. A lot better coverage coming on to Eclipse, or excuse me, coming on to Blast players here now, too, when Eclipse have to play more defensively. However, there is going to be a goal opportunity potentially opened up. Problem being is that Lone Gecko's alone right now, so he does it to pass back to teammates, and they've got to go for a little bit of a rotation before they can make a real attempt at this. Over once again to Lone Gecko as he's going to inch closer and closer. Boop, not necessarily open for a pass just yet, and he's stunned Lone Gecko which allows for Eclipse to get a nice and quick clear, and this is going to be an absolute mess. L, six players moving together in a massive bulge, trying to go back over to the other side here. It works out, though, to give it over towards Eclipse. Moving doggy pile is what I want to call that one. <laughs> All six are somehow getting there with punches coming in, grabbing each other's legs. And now Powder slowing things down. They have time to work with again. They're going to force Blast to be aggressive, force some mistakes out of them. Yeah, there's two minutes and 50 seconds left, but this is a great shot coming in from the high ground. Simeon. That's him another three. That's 10 0. Clips very much waking up now into this series. Three pointers being scored left and right. We can see what happened here once more. Just an absolute mess of players having to go across the arena. And you can even see it in game there. They're getting heated up now. They are celebrating because finally they are back in dominant control of this second round. Yeah, Affentary, he, he pushed off to go against Simeon to not allow a clear shot. But because he did that, because he got there just a hair too late. Simeon was able to get the three-pointer in and take this lead even further. Ten points. It's possible to come back from this for Blast. Time is slowly ticking away and making it more and more impossible. Bit of a Not sloppy, feasible. Bit of a sloppy toss there is going to once again send things loose into the hands of Eclipse really temporarily. Affenter gets it over to Lone Gecko. He wants a three-pointer opportunity, though. No! A nice block once again at the hands of Palador. Saves the goal attempt, and quickly all players move together in another big group of them as they're going to try to race to the other side of the arena. Right now, Eclipse have an open territory. They do take it right out of the air, though, and grab it back for themselves as all three are floating together. They're going to oh, go for re-grabs. Here comes the race to the other side. Palador can't keep up with that, but the disc is flown into the open, so that goal attempt immediately falters. Oh, they're not able to get the re-punch in on this one. That's going to be, though, Boop able to get the pass. The attempted clear. Time is disappearing, and Affeter goes to the shot from the high ground. Just banks it off the side, though, but that's going to be Lone Gecko there, though, to get the rebound, to go for another chance here. Boop going to have to push it. He goes for the three-pointer, the ballsy play out of this man, but it doesn't work out. We're going to be able to get back in time, though, to defend against this, but the time, it is disappearing quickly. Regrab race continuing once again as both teams are able to get two players over the other side of the oh. arena. Another slam dunk from Eclipse, too. Palador getting it in this time. 12-0 for Eclipse, and only a minute and a half left now for Blast to find a way back into this round. It's looking less and less likely as time goes by. And that technical pause working out and paying dividends here for Eclipse. This is not the same blast we saw in the last three rounds. This is not the same Eclipse we've seen either. Simeon had eight points. Look at those stuns out of blast. Nine across the entire team. 
I think that was Powder who almost has nine himself. Yeah, Terra going for a slow float right now. Banks it down, try to take it over to Boop. Boop's in trouble though, and Palador coming out of nowhere, but a great response from Boop immediately takes it back himself. There's too much pressure inside of the goal right now. They need more from themselves. Oh my, and oh gosh. my goodness, it's all over the place. Palador saving another goal attempt here and sending it back the other way, and Blast aren't able to move quickly. The problem is Lenning is on his own. He doesn't have a teammate to slingshot off of, so we are going to see Logan go, but no! He bounces back off the pedestal there, and that's going to open up another opportunity for Eclipse to score. Lemming sinks it again, and with just over a minute left, I don't think Blast can do this anymore. I think they're going to have to start looking forward to that third round. I just wonder if they're broken. Flashbacks to Poland for them. Were well, they were able to get the series reset but not bring it home? Look how juiced up Lemon is right now. 14 to 0. It seems like everything's clicking finally for this team. And Blast. Maybe we need some help from the crowd here in the studio. Or maybe they'll stop cheering. I don't know. I seem to have that effect on people. But here we go, Blast now on the next possession. We go for a deep pass, but just right in the hands of Paladin. Lemming and Simi were doing a great job running interference there too. So Blast, I think, wanted to do a more complex setup, but they just weren't able to get it together. So there's too much interference being run. There's the clear. Now they're going to work together to try and race over towards the disc, but the disc is going crazy right now. Floating all over the arena. They do manage to get back the control, at least temporarily. The bank shot over to Boop, though, misses and keeps it on their side, which is not what they need. They cannot afford to waste time with fumbles like this. And yeah, unfortunately for them, time has gone down beyond the point where they would have been able to make this comeback happen. So I think it's a safe bet now to say Eclipse will more than likely be taking control of this second round. And even better, they'll score another two-pointer just to lock it in. You know, the mistakes that we saw of Eclipse before, the missed passes, the jumbled shots have all been fixed now. Looking like a completely different team. It's like they're they're finally playing with their controllers at this rate. Because they were missing so many passes, so many forced errors, so many unforced errors as well, even at the start of this one where Simeon did miss the three-pointer. But well, they're starting to come alive. And Blast definitely have to look forward to the last round of this entire tournament in the Grand Finals. And it seems like it's Blast, Sally, that are running into all those issues here now, but mainly due to interference that's constantly coming in from Eclipse. They've done a great job of restricting movement for Blast, which was one of their biggest assets in the previous rounds. Now it's not so much of the case anymore. Lone Gecko is going to be presented with a good opportunity to swing it for a two-pointer, even though he sinks it. And sadly, <laughs> <laughs> as the crowd wakes up. <laughs> Unfortunately, again, we'll only delay the inevitable here. As of only seven seconds remaining, I don't think it's possible for them to score another five to seven goals that would be needed to bring it back. Did you do the math in your head? Yeah, I did, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Not bad, not bad. Well, five... Okay, I can't do the math. You're better than me. Five times three is 15. Two times seven is 14. Mm. Well, it was a mix of threes and twos. Well, then it's somewhere between five and seven. <laughs> Just I said five to seven. So here we go. Clips will take that round at 16 to two scoreline. And it comes down to this here, Blue. It's gone. And they come back. Who's going to lock down this championship? Well, it has gone the distance. Our first series going very decisively into the favor of Blast, but our repeated one will go all the way to three full rounds to decide it. Winner of this one, regardless of the winner, will take control. Not only the series, but the tournament as well, taking home the top prize of $6,000 for first place. Clips have to be feeling fantastic now. And boost. They're just ready to get back in the game, all of them with their headsets on. The Clips taking a second here, thinking things over, looking to get the momentum into the next round because this is the final round here. Blue, this is the last one of the entire tournament. It's been Two days of exciting action non-stop. Now we go to one final round. Settle the score between these two teams. Blast came so, so close to the Poland Season 1 Finals. Same exact thing. Takes it to a fully loaded repeated series that fell short in the third round. And now they're in that same exact position again for two of their players and the same for two of Eclipse's players. The crowd's been awesome. They've been uh, cheering on Blast every time they score, basically ripping things off the ceiling with their voices. Taking a look over at the players on uh, Eclipse as well. See Simeon, is there sort of a quick tech issue before we jump into the third round? Simeon's feeling a lot better moving over. He's giving his teammates an encouraging words before they do jump into this last round. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on with the setup here, but 
obviously with him being the big scorer, him and Lemming both being massive scorers in that last match. I want to make sure everything's all sorted for him. Paldor as well seems to have woken up. A lot of, uh, a lot of scores against him. And you heard his team talking about he's the best player on the team. He's so consistent. He always plays at such a high level every match. And I feel like he's finally been able to hit that point in the Grand Finals. Actually, well, able to return to that point, I guess we should say, because he's been playing phenomenally the entire tournament. The thing is, is again, this goes back to the point, however, about how they had really not been tested up to this point in the game here. So so he hasn't really had to do much as, as a goalie prior to this because they were working so well offensively. And it looks like, wait, oh, excuse me, as we're getting some replays up on the screen here too. It's like, it's like people who go into a stream and ask, is this live? Is this live? <laughs> the title says it's a replay. <laughs> I got me hyped up there. I thought we were getting ready to jump back into it. That was uh, yeah. yeah, that was a momentum breaker right there for Blast, I feel like. It's from that point forward, everything just got really sloppy for them, sadly. Yeah, that's the unfortunate moment. Well, that's what that's there for. <laughs> Pretty much. Makes the momentum of the disc on those straightforward shots and it's a little bit more difficult for these teams to score and apparently it gets directly in the way of guys like Boop who forget it exists sometimes. Keep in mind, you know, the exhaustion that's going to start to set in here. You can see them, you know, like wiping off. I mean, we have two players in like bandanas. We have towels and everything trying to dry them off and keep those lenses dry as well. Because they need to see everything that's happening in this match. Both these teams being pushed to the brink of their skill. I think we're about to get in. Looks like everyone's headset's back on. Should be kicking this one off shortly here. Blue, do you want to change your predictions? You think Blast can still do it? I think they can. I still think they can do it. We're just going to have to hope that they st they spoke to each other for a few moments here in between the game and recovered, because if they try to go at it the same way again, I imagine Eclipse, now with them being in control, they're going to be able to take an easy second round Ooh. close out this series. Well, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The final round of the entire tournament all lays on this. The Joust is going to come in. And Eclipse have been so good with this off the get-go. Can they do it again? Oh, looks like we have some technical error. Yep, uh, Lone Gecko. I just Sorry, guys. Get you guys you know, all riled up and excited. <laughs> it was blue, I swear. It wasn't me. <laughs> I'm still excited. It doesn't matter. But yeah, Lone Gecko did call for a pause there. Well, I think they actually they had they had to have this happen because the crowd wasn't loud enough, actually, last oh, time. Oh, is that why? So hopefully they can step it up okay. into uh, the next joust. Be a little bit louder. <laughs> They're going to need you guys out <laughs> what there. What is he doing? He's uh he's practicing his island hopping, I think, right there. That guy's really good at that. We saw a couple of nice jukes around the islands as well. Someone went for a little bit of a slingshot juke, but they kind of swoop themselves around to get over a player. I forget exactly when that happened, however. I think that was uh, Lone Gecko, if I remember correctly, in the last series against 11.5. Yeah. He was able to, like, dance off of it and do his thing. So again... Is looking like we just have to have Lone Gecko try and test out his setup here really quickly, and then as soon as we have confirmed that there are no longer any tracking issues, we will be good to restart once again. Jump into this game, find our winner, the VR League Invitational. <laughs> see Naf and Terror and Lemmy just trading some words here. Wondering what they're saying, but I think Naf and Terror smiling. Then again, he'll smile at anything, I think. <laughs> A little bit of pregame banter going on. <laughs> so that's the great part about these events, these invitationals. You get to actually see the players, you know, behind the screens. You actually get to see, you know, see the personalities more. You know, I never knew, would have known Appenter was such a lovable guy and such a funny guy. Uh, and, you know, until we get to come here and actually participate in this. So I love that everyone out there gets to see that. And more importantly, you know, the people who play in EU and scrim against each other day in, day out, get to meet their friends, you know, online, whether it's their teammates, whether it's their enemies, their opponents. Get to all come together and, and have a blast. No pun intended. <laughs> and the regions, of course, get a nice chance to finally interact with each other a little bit too. Some cross-region scrims that I'm sure that they've been having earlier on in the day before we started these streams as well. It gives these teams a good chance, especially for some of the newer teams like Boost, uh, who showed up here. Sadly, with not a whole lot of prospects to win the event, but still good opportunities for them to be able to to be able to uh, kind of train themselves up for future matches. And again, there's our ESL UK production team. Wait, isn't that guy four seats down? Didn't I see him in the crowd earlier? Um, he looks familiar. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that is our lovely production team doing a fantastic job. They have always done a good job in any event I've ever worked here. So big shout out to all of them. And you can see our two observers on the left-hand side melee. I don't know if they can hear us and DJ. All right, well, <laughs> they didn't want to give the observers any props. They're like, all right, no, get off of them. We only want the props. But they are there as well doing a great job. Grind this one in. 
and out throughout the entire day. There, see, look at that. I swear, the guy that jumped in the back, I recognize him. <laughs> we can get the camera, you know, shown on our producer. This has a brother or something like that, maybe. maybe they both work here. <laughs> All right, looks like they're about to load back in. Everyone's headsets are back on. Blue, I can't wait to get this one underway. I can't wait to see what's going to happen. All right, well, here we go. It looks like our players are in the tubes, ready to launch, ready to go for the last joust, which historically Eclipse has been doing great at. But let's make some noise for those of you down in the crowd. If you want Blast to take it, you need to be loud, and you need to be loud right now. Let's get into it. So we do see Eclipse taking control of the opening joust once again. Affenter is going to pressure coming out of one from Simeon. Simeon trying to get a little bit tricky with it as well. Moves around and successfully jukes past him to secure the opening two-pointer for Eclipse. Now that's where things get iffy here for Blast. Last time this happened, Simeon got the early score. And then we saw the play come in with a great pass of Affentair towards Boop. Boop forgot about the force field. And then it was downhill. Can Blast recover? Can they keep their composure here most important? That's what makes you champions. Let's see. The launch coming out now from Blast. So what's after they split things up? We're going to see the two of them sticking together, actually. It's a bit risky, considering it's not going to be such an open opportunity for a pass, but if they can make this work, the goal will be a very easy task to accomplish. It's a ding, though, off of the rim. What otherwise would have been an easy two-pointer to tie this up now becomes a whole lot more difficult. Affentair are going to look to get past the front line as for Eclipse oh, right no. now. Does it, but it's sent wild off the islands. It's going to be Boop looking to quickly retreat it, but no, it's stolen away by Lemming, as he'll more than likely get a quick clear. He even punches out Affentair in the process and leaves him unable to defend the goal. Now Simeon's just going to walk right in, potentially for an easy three-pointer here, but no, keeps it courteous and makes it a two-pointer. Well, if you're a Blast fan out there, you're getting worried. If you're an Eclipse fan, you're getting hyped up. They lost two rounds, sorry, three rounds in a row. And they've been able to come back into this one, take it to the brink of a potential loss, a potential victory. You can hear the crowd and who they're rooting for. I love the setups thought of Affentair and the team. Like the, the throwing off the ground, bouncing straight up into the players. Like it's been perfect every time. It's just been the shots haven't been there. That's the second time that boop's been set up and unfortunately hasn't been able to land. And again, the miss throw comes in. They're gonna have to retreat Avatar quickly here to, get to help out. Time. It's gonna have to be someone else to jump into there more than likely. It looks like he's able to do it because there's a little bit of flood pass for Eclipse, but now oh, Boop oh, takes oh. it. Mail slot? No, bounces off the top island. They need it. They need a big three-pointer from someone. They need a big play happen because that's gonna get them the energy they need to get back into this match. Simeon goes for the clear. We'll bounce back towards them. This should be going to the way a blast, but how far can they get? Can they finally get some points on the board? Lone Gecko gets a great pass on Affentair. Boop gonna be pushing in, but they got three members to worry about. Boop's gonna get stunned up, and Simeon gets the steal. He gets the clear. What amazing movement coming in there from Simeon. Cool. He's well hopping around the island. Wait, now score? pitching a ride oh. to try and steal the disc. He's not moving a little bit too quickly, so he misses that opportunity, but still dishing out stuns left and right as he also knocks out Lone Gecko there. Finally, someone's able to deal with him, though, as Affentair gets the counter, but he's gonna be on the front lines here now as well, and sadly just can't keep a hold of the disc. Lenning now picks it up and sends it back the other way. But Boop takes it out of the air, and they're gonna reverse pass really quickly. Another member of Blast tries to get into the way of this, but it's unsuccessful. And Eclipse are just punching them out one by one right now, which kills this offensive pressure, sadly. Lone Gecko just boosting off of person clear in there. But that was powder we head back, actually, to make sure they can boost back into this. And they get this, and they get Simeon pushed off of that. He's gonna have an open shot here, a three-pointer for him to take him up to 7-0. Clips are holding no prisoners here. Simeon almost knocking over he, his monitor. <laughs> yeah, he almost like broke his PC. Maybe that's where the technical issues have been coming from out of him. But it's going to be hype now for Eclipse, and for Simeon specifically, because so far in this round, he has had just an amazing game from his perspective of movement alone and how much disruption he's been able to pull off against the guys from Blast. He's not even leading in stuns. That's the craziest part. The stuns he has pulled off, though, have been so impactful. All right, Blast, you got three minutes. You got time on the board. Hit these shots. They've definitely been struggling here. Again, moving up, throwing on the high. Oh, that's actually a nice play. Actually, gets other hands, so they can get up here really quickly. Oh, oh my what? lord! With one of the longest shots of the entire event, Boot comes in from 47 meters down. And that's what they might have needed to get back in this game here, Blue. Quick pass, it's beyond the midfield. Just a nice bounce goes directly inside of the goal. Paladar didn't even realize it was happening until it was far <laughs> too late. And hi there, Beatrix. How are you doing? Oh, well, hey. <laughs> Well, one isn't going to do it for him, though, Blue. But it does give them the energy, the momentum back on their side to pull this one back. They know it's doable. And Boop's got to finally be happy about that because he seems to be, have been in his head for a while here with all of these missed shots and missed passes. 
It will always not be a perfect round for Eclipse as Blast find a way to struggle back into it here. Boop will go for a nice toss, tries to go for the bank shot oh! again, and oh, it almost works. Oh. And no, it's no! not. Oh, what is that? That should have been a goal easily for Lone Gecko there. But no, a miss. However, they get back possession so they can make another run for it. Yeah, Boop coming in, gets the pass off to Aventer, who does grab it back to Boop again. Lone Gecko gets the punch onto the goalie, but Powder's going to be fine because he has his own teammates pushing up. And they are going to be able to get back to this disc in time. Oh, it just comes out of their side. They're able to predict that correctly. And Eclipse get the clear. To me, it's punch, though. It's not going to be too oh, fast. Boop's in trouble. He's going to bounce very close to the goal. He's got to get rid of it quickly, and he does. Knocks it back, but no, right into the hands of Simeon, who can now make a run for the goal. Tries to grab it, but no, will not be happening. Eclipse secure themselves with their two-pointer to push themselves up to nine. <laughs> I think that was Simon yelling, this is my tournament. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, he wants to be able to pick this up. You can see all the crowd here rooting for Blast. Simon all points on this player. Blast, they still have two minutes. We just crossed that line. And again, just to give credit where it's due, look at all those points. It's all been scored by Simeon. All nine points so far have been scored by the frontline player for Eclipse, Simeon. Who's been doing an absolutely fantastic job. And this is not what Blast need right now. A mess up on their launch sequence to try and... No, they didn't. They messed it. I don't think they messed it up. They were actually setting it up perfectly to go in because they seem to like to throw the disc really far down and then just catch them by surprise with the, how good they are at their movement and the boost the capabilities that they can do. Either way, it didn't work out. That's, that's the moral of the story here as Eclipse have been able to take the disc and are looking to stall for some of the time. They're up by six. Throw takes it back over towards middle here right now. It's going to be a little bit of a race to get back control. Lemming takes it, and he's moving out all on his own right now. We've got the guys from Blast trying to beat them to the punch, and they will successfully do so. So for now, Eclipse will play into a pass rotation. But hold on. Loose disc puts it into the hands of Palador on Eclipse's side of the arena. But this is so smart for them again, just wasting time, trying to draw it on the clock to be able to make it too low for Blast to be able to make a comeback at this point. Simeon, in fact, might open up an opportunity for a goal. But no, Lone Gecko steals it from him and takes it back over into their territory. Can they get the boost across? Slingshot's gonna come in. It's gonna be a big clash here at this force field. And they're actually able to get punches left and right after it gets the disc. And he just banks it again. But there it is. Low Gecko comes in with the rebound. Does take it to four with 50 seconds left. Still four points behind, however, though, is going to be the issue for them here now. Well, that's why they scored against them. Look how still Lemmy's playing. <laughs> He's gotta move, son. <laughs> no. Anyways, 50 seconds. This is gonna be this is gonna be difficult. If they can pull this off though. It would be fantastic. Even just to take it to overtime would be very impressive. 50 seconds, it's doable, but it's going to be very, very difficult, especially considering that they more than likely would need to get aggressive here, and we haven't seen Blast successfully do that. Let's see if they go for it. Yeah, Lone Gecko and Boop. No, no, actually not going to be super aggressive off the bat. Oh, I said one player. Oh, Boop could have almost had that grab. And now the disc has been cleared onto their side. Simeon's going to be there. It's bouncing directly towards them, but Lone Gecko will get there in time. 36 seconds left to go here. Blue, they need to get this ball across the court. They need to get this in the goal, and they need to do it now. The rapid clear takes it oh, over. Oh, into oh what was that? What? 62 meters! What is that? And it puts it to a one-point game! It seems someone, at least, is watching over for Blast as that brings them back into it. Still with another about 30 seconds or so to be able to score as well. So it banks in, puts them one point away. Now, if they can score again, they won't even need overtime. They'll just take the event. Oh, my lord. 29 seconds. Eclipse have to stall. You see what it means to the crowd. Imagine what it means to the players here on the stage. If they can stall for 29 seconds, Eclipse will take it. Blast can steal this away. Let's see what they go for. They're getting super aggressive. They're coming directly at him. They get the punch. They knock him back into the wall. But that's Simon to get the disc. They're able to sing shot back in time. And he goes for three point. He gets it. And that's almost the nail in the coffin. Eclipse now up to 12. And again, our crowd falls silent as Blast chances come even less so here now with Eclipse all but securing themselves the tournament here. They've really had to fight for it, losing the first three rounds of this grand final, including getting 0-2'd on the opening series, but now battling it back from 0-1 start. They're just 20 seconds away from taking the crown once again. Simeon, 12 points. He has definitely confirmed his position on this roster. The newest member to the team of the two-thirds. Boop does get the pass. He's got to go aggressive here. Lone Gecko goes for the shot to lower head side, gets the bounce off the back, it's three points, and now puts it to a one possession game. Oh, can they still do this? 12, clips delay. 12 seconds, 11.8 to be exact here for Blast to somehow try and steal possession away from Eclipse and score another goal. It doesn't matter if it's a two or a three pointer, they just need a goal. They have to go all in. 
problem is... They did that on the last time, too. And they, they have to, though. Because if they don't go all in, Eclipse can stall on their side of the map. On their side of the arena here. I'm gonna imagine Powder's gonna go for a quick clear. I'm gonna imagine everyone on Blast's gonna come directly for them. Affentair, they go straight in. The clear has come in. Five seconds left. Boop trying to keep up with it. They did keep Affentair on the back lanes, but he's gonna be too far away to retrieve it. Less than two seconds. Eclipse, no, they've got it, and it's certain now. 12 to 11 is the final score of the final round of the repeated series, and Eclipse claim the championship once again here at the VR League Echo Arena Invitational. And they deserved it too, most importantly, like you pointed out, Blue. They came back from losing three rounds straight to take the last two. They were in the winner bracket final. They got through to the grand finals with a one series advantage. And you can see both teams love that game. So close, down to the wire, 12 to 11 finish. Insane stuff between these two teams. No puns required for that one other than absolutely astonishing. What a series to close out the tournament. Eclipse on the brink of destruction at the hands of Blast is able to make the recovery and still keep the title as the world's best. What a series, boys. That was amazing. It comes quite literally down to the wire as well. The last 10 seconds coming so close. You could tell there at the end, though, Blast didn't want to have a repeat of what had just happened two volleys ago. And so they decided to keep Affentair back. Whether, of course, that will ultimately be their downfall or not, we'll never know. But unfortunately, they decided not to take the risk. They didn't have enough pressure to get it out of their possession. And those last 11 seconds didn't end up getting wasted, giving Eclipse the title once again. It's still great to see, though, that there are teams out there that can challenge Eclipse. You know, you got the number one yep, from NA, yep. the number one from EU going head to head. You know, if they played that whole series out again, it's, it could have gone blast way still. And that shows how, you know, even these teams are at the moment. I mean, there were two huge kind of moments, really, in that. It is that blast with the three games back to back and then Eclipse's recovery. Both show the, as you mentioned, the mental fortitude of these teams. Because yeah. blast came in, arguably the underdog. When we saw them being able to get that bracket reset, which is actually very uncommon generally in esports. It's true, and but they deserved it. I mean, they yep, played yep. fantastic to pull off 9-7 in the first two rounds against the 6-6, then to take 21 in the first round of the reset, like 21 to 4. And then that pause happened, and Eclipse finally were able to gather their thoughts and able to come together as a team, which is a really important thing to be able to do in esports as a pro player is to gather your thoughts when you're losing like Absolutely. that and just kind of brush it off and look forward to what you need to do to win. I think Eclipse proved like they deserve that victory 100%. And we saw as well there as well, the real MVP for me, specifically on the Eclipse side of things, has to be Simeon. Oh, even yeah. when there was losing moments with him, even when they were getting destroyed in the opening series, he still was keeping up with some really nice individual plays, yeah. whether it was on defense or offense, and has very much earned his place now on this roster in the second season. I mean, looking at game two of our extended game, uh, series, of course, it felt like his energy was just there. It was just back, and they were able to take it all the way. Let's head down to the stage with our grand final winners. Of course, it's Eclipse. Thank you, James. Oh, the hype! It was back pulling all over again! You got mercyed, then you mercyed him back! What happened? How did you turn it around? Well, anyway, it was a good game. No, <laughs> uh, it was amazing. What turned it around was we kept our energy, we kept our hype. Even when we were getting down, I was yelling at them in a good way to just play our game, do our thing. This is what I've been hammering home the last few weeks, especially that we got to have mental toughness. We have to know how to win, but we have to know how to lose. And we lost and we didn't fall apart. And then we came back and we won because this wouldn't be an Eclipse Finals. It doesn't matter if it's Poland or if it's Oculus Connect 4, maybe Oculus Connect 5. In an Eclipse Finals, we will make it a close game, whether we like it or not. <laughs> yes, yes, Living was telling me he didn't like a close game because his girlfriend and family at home get stressed out about it. But it was fun to watch. Simeon wasn't fully powered up, so he didn't show him the final form until now. It was absolutely amazing. Well, let's bring out this check for $6,000 for you guys. Come on, hold it. You have earned it, and I can't wait to see where this goes at OC5. Here they are, once again, Eclipse, the VR Echo Arena. <laughs> yes, clap indeed. Invitational champions.
phenomenal scenes here as we see Eclipse once again crowning themselves the champion and taking away $6,000 to their name. They all gelled together, they meshed together, and they showed that they are the absolute most fearsome team in Echo Arena today. It was close towards the end, but they showed that the fortitude and the mental stamina required to become a champion was very much theirs. What a way to end the tournament, gentlemen. And important to also you know, as Powder did say, like to be able to lose and still come back. Yep. You know, to be challenged and to keep your energy up, uh, to keep yourself composed and pull off the victory. And we saw that happen in that tech pause. It was at the end of game number one when they had the 21-4 scoreline and were able to take it there. They huddled, they got themselves back together, they regrouped. They were able to finally get themselves back into the game and rounds number two and three went very dominantly in their fashion as a result of that. I mean, the first series, they looked mentally defeated. I mean, even after the first game going into the extended series, I thought to myself, this is going to be a bit difficult for them overall. But no, they were able to make that recovery after Blast had such a great showing at the beginning. And big shout outs to them, I feel. Their performance throughout the entire day, playing four series back to back, yeah. is very impressive. It's, it's rough, but hey, they made it look good the entire way through. You could tell, like, once Boop got that like long range three pointer, the energy just skyrocketed through yep. the roof for that team, and they came so close. Even that like 60 meter shot out of Avatar that was like so random, but so well done. It just helped push them to the next level. And if anything, you know, Kolaris and Blue, this really hypes me up for the regionals and for Octus Connect, because if we have a match like that again, it's going to be ridiculous. Oh, yeah. It was extremely close down to the wire, but overall, we are shown that Eclipse are able to be victorious once again. North America as well, Blue, the victorious once again. Well, we know how it goes here. As Eclipse take another big <laughs> tournament, it's more money going back to NA. And there's no problem with that. I, I feel conflicted because <laughs> I, I live in Europe, but I'm American. So, so you're the middle ground, yeah. which is why we put you in the middle of the desk. Well done. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> it works for you, though, because that just gives you reason to root for both if either side wins. Yeah. yeah. I do want to see Blast win, though, because I want to see Eclipse challenge, and I want to see Eclipse adapt and evolve as a team. Um, obviously, with the new player on the team as well, it kind of gives them some room to grow. And I think this is also a sign for them, like, oh, yeah, we're not, you know, we're not necessarily the best. We're, obviously, we are the you know, winners, but... They were close. Only barely. Only yeah. barely did they win. Absolutely. Well, thank you very much, guys. And big thank you as well to Intel for joining us here along for the VR League for Echo Arena Invitational. And once again, a huge congratulations to Eclipse for bagging themselves the championship here live from Leicester, England in the United Kingdom. That does it for us here for all of the action from Echo Arena. A huge thank you to everyone tuning in at home. And we'll see you next time for more VR League.